What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Catacombs. So today I want to talk about a YouTuber by the name, well, her channel name is Didi. I, I think that's her name, Didi. Um, I actually like her channel. I watch her stuff. She, she got that, uh, her little catchphrase. I think Kevin Samuels even throws it in his, uh, in his shows. She's like, she like, baby. It's, it's actually pretty funny. Um, but I do want to talk about her, her uh, a video that she posted up that I actually just caught a couple of hours ago. Um, um, she's talking about how how black women expect a certain type of man when it comes to to black men, right? And I've been I've been saying this for a couple of months now that when it comes to black men and our, our masculinity, uh, black women expect us to be a certain type of man. When it, but it's only reserved for for black men and every other man white men especially can kind of be whatever they want they don't have to be this type of this this type but when you're black and you're dealing with a black woman she's expecting you to be uh, rough around the edges criminal criminally involved and super aggressive that's that's their idea of and, I, and I, I'm saying black women as an, in general I know it's not all black women but the number is so high that it makes the women who aren't like that, who don't think like that, it makes y'all damn near invisible. Because the women who do want these types of men, they are super loud. And they drown y'all out. And there's a lot of them as well. So, but when it comes to um when it comes to uh, a black man, you have to be super aggressive, like damn near really, really arrogant a bad boy you got to be all that stuff now granted in the white community white women are attracted to those types of dudes too the difference is they don't marry those guys okay they typically marry and have kids with guys who are not like that now in their college years yeah they'll do they'll do a bunch of nasty stuff and have all kind of sex with those types of men but they're not they're not going into super long uh, long, long uh, um, relationships with those guys. They'll have flings. They'll get their rocks off and all of that stuff. But then they, 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 they wise up and they get with a guy who's not like that. Um, <clears throat> I mean, of course, after they have all their fun. I mean, it's still, it's still not the, 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 it's still not a good look. But it seems like black women just do not get out of that mindset. And again, I'm saying this in general because the number is very large that black women are like this, that think like this. I have run into far too many black women in my family and outside of my family that think like that. I need a dude who's gutter gutter. I need a dude who's out there who's super aggressive. Like every, almost all the women that's in my family have dealt with criminals. Hell, some of them have even married them. <laughs> it's like, are you, are you serious? And then get mad and complain when they get, you know, get up in years and those guys aren't as stable as they need to be because they spent so much time having fun and being thugged out and gutter gutter super super aggressive and, and rough around the edges and dealing in and out of criminality and stuff like that meanwhile they the black women have ignored the guys who they should have actually paid attention to who would have been way more stable in their later years so by the time they're in their late 30s and early 40s hell and into their 50s those guys are pretty much set financially they got some resources they spent they spent the time and, and putting the work to do things that needed to be done legally but our our women man for whatever reason are stuck on the bad boy for decades not just oh yeah my late teenage years early 20 somethings and nah they go they they look for they actively look for those types of men well into their 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 mid 30s into their 40s man and it's crazy because that's where a lot of dysfunction and the thing about it is these are women they've had babies by these guys by the worst of us okay now when it comes to white women when they look at white i mean excuse me when it comes to black women and they're looking at white men white men are allowed to be kind of nerdy black men are not not when it comes to most black women they do not like guys who aren't hip who aren't wearing the freshest shoes who aren't you know swagged out and thugged out and they, they they can't stand it when a black man is not like that but when they run over to the white dude look at serena williams right she married 
hell you can look at even even um even um eve who they both married white men right and they're both in my eyes they look a little corny they look a little quirky nerdy you know what I'm saying? But every black dude that they've messed with, those two women right there were edgy, thugged out. You know what I'm saying? Super, super aggressive, borderline arrogant. You know what I'm saying? Not you know, not confusing confident confidence for arrogance, but arrogant. You know what I'm saying? They go after those type of black men. And have you ever seen, think about it, you you listening to this video right now, have you seen in your vicinity, black women go after the ner the nerdy black kid. How often do you see that? You don't see that too often. You just, you really, really, really don't see that too often. And even in our media, music, television, movies, that you never see that. But they will go after the guy who's white, who happens to be uh, a computer programmer, who sits in a room wearing glasses and looking all goofy and stuff. They will deal with that guy, that white dude that's like that. And if they're in any other, I mean, don't get me wrong, black women would mess with a white dude who is a little thugged out too. Hell, they may even find that as, as a fetish because they, they expect that type of behavior from a black dude, but it's coming from a white guy. So they're like, oh my gosh, you know? I just thought this episode from uh, Didi was actually pretty on point because I was listening to this and I'm like, yo, this is really, really true really true I, you know you you could you, you you'll have people tell you that as a black dude man, you're not you, you're not you look cute but as soon as you open your mouth I don't like you no more because I don't I, you as a black guy you don't even speak the way I expect you to speak you know and it's quite sad too man because a lot of times those girls have babies by those boys you know what I'm saying those teenagers those early 20 somethings and then they get all older they find God and now they want somebody that's not like the man that they had a kid with or a man that gave them a bunch of trauma. Meanwhile, they could have avoided that altogether if they just opened up their eyes. But I don't think it's going to change, to be honest. It's going to keep going and going. It's going to be good for content creation because a lot of these women will not. They, you can tell them to your blue in the face. They will not listen. They absolutely will not change. A, a high percentage of those girls will not change. They will see that and they will say, well, no, they really, some of them really believe that I'll get my, my thugged out, my swagged out dude, and he'll be nice to me. <laughs> oh, good luck. <laughs> good luck. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, man. I just thought this was a really thought provoking uh, uh, topic that Diddy brought up. And uh, again, it was a topic that I've been thinking about. Uh, for a while now and I think it's absolutely true uh, black women would accept nerdy behavior a little bit of quirkiness from white men um, hell they may even ex they may even show that from some Indian guys too which I've never really seen a lot of black women get with a lot of Indian dudes I rarely I rarely see it with even with Spanish guys I really see with black women with Spanish or even Asian guys I rarely see those couples I mean it does happen but it's rare so I would say that it's more so with white dudes that are allowed to be themselves, that are allowed to not be toxic, masculine, and all of that stuff. But when it comes to black dudes, you have to be thugged out. You better, you better, if you go on a date with a black woman and you're a black dude, you might as well bring a rap sheet with you. And <laughs> forge the rap sheet, yeah, I've been to jail. And you'll probably get a call back or something like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I hope not. I'm just playing. Don't do that. But uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. And um, if you like the, uh, the, the this video, definitely give it a like and a comment in the section below. Uh, let's get the conversation started. I definitely, I, I like this man. I like doing this, and I like talking to you. I like responding to a lot of the comments. And uh, oh, real, real quick announcement. I have not forgotten my third follow up. Uh, uh, of the Melanie King thing, um, I, I wonder if y'all have seen the uh, the the Lapeef the, the Lapeef Network thingy that she was on. I'm definitely gonna be talking about that. Uh, but until then, y'all be easy. <laughs>